Morning, just thought I'd give you a little walk around one of our shepherd's huts. Um, I've put a few online but we built a lot more than is on YouTube and mostly they're the painted ones so I thought I'd show you one of our rustic ones. Um, this was built, built for a customer so it's bespoke, it's what they wanted which was very rustic and natural looking. Um, so it's uh, large exterior boards. Uh, I'll just show you this side as well, but this is a blank side, so there's not a lot to see there. So it's a uh, yeah, large exterior boards. Um, the tin roof is corrugated and plastic coated, hardwood steps, uh, very natural banister and detailing because I say it's meant to be rustic. Um, this one actually is going to be lived in, so hence it's got. Let me just spin around this area which is like a porch, seated area, um, some very natural hooks there. So this is where your wet boots and your wet jackets go. Um, a bit of detailing around the door there. Um, we'll come into here in a minute, that's the bathroom. I'll explain that in a minute. So front door is here. It's an antique door, glazed, reclaimed. We'll go in and we'll just spin you around and we'll start over here. So Kitchen here, microwave of course, fridge freezer, uh, rustic drawer unit, so reclaimed, I think that's a champagne crate, a potato crate and baskets, so that's all your storage. Um, we've got hot and cold water at the sink, so hot water by means of a water heater. So that's all your cooking requirements. Um, log burning stove, it's a French enamelled stove. Uh, reclaimed again, double hot plates on the top so you can do your kettle and your soup on there it's also got an oven compartment so you can do your stew in there and the firebox is at the bottom uh, feed it from the sides as well so very safe, very easy to use uh, stainless steel panelling of course bedroom uh, so that's a full size double bed, none of these daft little four foot caravan beds, it's a four foot six double. Uh, proper mattress and everything. The storage underneath there, so one of them baskets or a little plastic box on wheels. Uh, additional storage again with the vintage basket above the bed. That you'll notice Christmas cards 2nd of January today. Um, little window out the back that opens of course. In the corner there, um, this is your shower, so just put some lights on in there. So that's a full wet room in essence, I hope you can see that. Full electric shower. Extractor fan to outside, exterior lighting as well, so there's nothing to get in your way in there other than the shower. That's nice and easy. Uh, all your fan and electrics are accessed through the little hatch there, so it's simple. A uh, little storage area for your towels. This section could of course be partitioned, partitioned off by use of a curtain or whatever if you've got other people in who you don't want to see you getting out of the shower. Uh, seating area, loads of space. There's a fold down table as well so this becomes your dining area. Um, and of course three great big double glazed windows so you get, if you've got a view over a lock or the mountains or the beach you get full use of it. Um, so we'll go back outside because out here this is your toilet. Now the reason it's outside and not in the main living area is because it's a composting toilet and even though they don't smell the customer was a bit worried about it so we've got a very sparkly spangly composting toilet. Very easy to use. Uh, they don't smell at all as it happens. Um, but there you go. We, we usually put proper toilets in but in this case that's what the customer wanted so that's what the customer got. So we'll just pop downstairs. So there you go, uh, this wagon is, I think it's 20 foot by 8 foot, so it's a big old wagon. Um, so there you go, this one by the way is on a 7.5 ton uh, drawbar trailer, so that's rated to carry 7.5 tons, the wagon probably weighs 4 or 5, so it's sturdy, well it's over engineered for the job to be honest, but full suspension. Uh, pneumatic tyres meaning you can, you can with the right vehicle you can tow it on the road or with the wrong vehicle you can very easily move it around your own site. So there you go, if you want one building uh, give me a bell 
or drop me an email with your requirements and we'll tell you what we can do. We've got quite a bit of work on at the moment, but towards the end of the year we might be able to fit something in.